Hello everybody and welcome to a, another video. I don't, I, I need to like actually come up with an intro for these, so if you guys have ideas, give me a shout, but this is something that popped up on Itch that I saw rattling around on Twitter the other day. Uh, it came out on the 9th, if I'm not mistaken, so the actually, yeah, the release date is the 9th of April of this year, so just a couple of days ago. And this is a neat little art project, so before I actually dive in, I'm gonna kinda talk about this for a second. So, are you like me and you grew up with a Game Boy? Are you also like me and you knew people who had the Game Boy camera, but you weren't cool enough to have a Game Boy camera? Well, this is a art gallery for photos that were taken in or taken using uh, actual Game Boy cameras. Uh, this, as far as I can tell, is playable on Game Boys if you have um, a, a flash cart for it. Um, but it's it's completely free. You can download it on Itch, and it just runs on your computer. Um, it is a little bit odd on the controls because, like I said, it is designed for a um, for, for for a Game Boy. So you've got your A button, which is bound to Z. You've got your B button, which is bound to X. Uh, shift and and Enter our start and select, and you move around with the arrow keys. Uh, so it is quite literally a art museum. This is an art piece, less of a video game. Um, but there are secrets and things to find. So we're going to mess around in this for about 10 minutes and just kind of give you guys kind of an idea of what this is. And then there will be a link down in the description where you can go take a look at this and go explore these uh, like fantastic photos taken by a, a number of different uh, photographers. So uh, there's more information on the game page itself if you would like to go read up on who did the art, and where it came from, and all, all of that. So let, let, let's just dive in and, and take a real quick look, and then we'll have a peek at the credits, I think. So let's start off by uh, hitting Z, because that's the A button. So this is where we start off, and of course, like, the music is fantastic, because Game Boys. Uh, we are this little cat person thing. Um, the controls are a little floaty, but, you know, it's fine. We're gonna just move up here, into here. So this is kind of the entry zone, so we can actually just walk right up and peruse this image right away, and... Ah, <sighs> art, before it was all on the blockchain. The good old days. All right, so we back out of that. Let's take a some look at some information. Uh, meaningfully gla magnifyingly glass, ma magnifying glass, that's the word, by, uh, Kat Graffin. Uh, so we can look at, uh, the artist's QR code here. So I, I could look at this, and if you wanted to flash this QR code, uh, it would take you to their profiles and some of their other work. Um, we can also look at the details of the image. Uh, lens, built-in, uh, built the artist location is Portland, USA. All right, sweet. Well, let, let's, uh, just, let's walk over to uh, reception here. Have a chat. Hi, welcome to the Game Boy Camera Gallery of 2022. We show, we show photos taken on the Game Boy Camera. What else am I supposed to tell folks? Sorry, I'm new. And a raccoon. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's, here's a map. And uh, just press select uh, to use it if you are lost. And uh, you can press start to save your game as well. And uh, the D-pad changes the, uh, the palette when viewing photos. And uh, what else? Um, oh, don't forget to read uh, the, the title cards on the photos. And uh, they have a bunch of information on them. And I would... I, I would tell you what they say, but I don't know how to read because I'm a raccoon. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the gallery. And uh, don't forget to look for secrets. I mean, uh, what? There's secrets? So that's your reception. And we can walk past this lovely help. Oh, can I look at the plant? This is a beautiful philodendron. Wow. This raccoon has good taste in decor. I have three of those and, like, two I'm um, seating in my apartment right now. True story. All right, so this is the first room. We got a person we can talk to. Hello. Wow. There are so many great photos. I don't know where to look first. I wonder if they have any coffee. Do art galleries typically sell coffee? God, I hope they do. Gorgeous. This is where we all sit back and appreciate art. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> now, of course, uh, they, they did say that we can uh, change the palette using the D-pad, which in this case is the arrow keys. Left and right to swap out the palette. I think this one looks real good like this, actually. Kind of looks like something from um, a horror film, to be honest. God, this 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 stuff's too cool. All right, let's take a peek. What, wh who, who did this one? Hill House by Zoe Wolf. Zoe F. Wolf, I think. Details. Uh, Built-in lens. Uh, Seattle. 
Washington. Effects Fusion. Of course, you could also look up some more information about them. Ooh, that's a crow. Or a raven, perhaps? What color palette do you like most for these? Leave a response down in the comments. Once again, I really like the black and white. There's there's something about that color palette that just looks good on these. I don't know. Crotography by Zoe F. Wolf. So same person as before. Let's see what we got back up here. Ooh, first let's go take a peek at the plant. What a friendly looking plant. It looks happy to be sitting next to a bunch of art. I won't disturb it. What, what if we did? Oh. <laughs> All right, what, what else do we have here? It's an interesting look. It's like almost like split into two things. Alessa by Kat Graffin. Built-in lens. Artist location is Portland. Vex Fusion. Now, I think this is the same one. Yes. Glitch Girl. Damn. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at on that one. I like it, though. Looks like something out of Metroid, kind of. Like an 80s horror film. So this is where it kind of branches off. We can walk in different directions. Oh, this bonsai must be decades old. Oh, wait. I think it's fake. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh-oh. What was that? Is something moving around in the leaves? It's a cell phone, and it's vibrating. Hello? Hey, it's the raccoon. The one from the other room. I was watching you through our uh, tree camera. You look like you're really into this art stuff. I love that. So cute. When you have seen all the photos, come back here. And I'll show you something cool. It's, like, uh, actually very cool. I, I promise. You also can put it uh, in, in the, the foam back in the tree pot. This game of Minesweeper is uh, really intense. Raccoon out. Click. Should come back later. It can go south. There's all plenty of different bran branching paths. But this is just like once again. I feel like I say this in almost every video. This is just kind of like I I'm happy that we live in a in a in a era of the internet where this kind of thing can exist. Stopped listening by Tobias Rudberg. I don't even probably completely butchered that. Apologies to everybody in Germany. Once again, built-in lens. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, that's my favorite palette for this one. I'm not even sure what that is. It's like a radio antenna, maybe? I don't know. Looks awesome, whatever it is. Ooh, some graffiti. Once again, I really like that black and white palette. Or like that brown and whatever, burgundy. Same person. Fantastic. So we also have this little map here, which gives us kind of like an idea of where we are in the little art museum. It's actually quite extensive. Like it, it just kind of keeps going because there is quite a few, quite a number of photos in here. Ooh. This reminds me of almost, um, I, I listened to a band called Nod, G-N-O-D. And this reminds me of one of their album artworks actually. In a good way too, like a really good way. By 23K pixels. Fantastic. That's probably my favorite one yet, actually. Ooh, that one's also cool looking. Where is that? That looks familiar. Like, I think I've seen those buildings before. <laughs> Watch it be like New York or something. Boomtown. Same artist. Let's look up their details. CS Mount. Not familiar with the different um, Game Boy camera lenses, to be honest. Oh, this looks like a me. What's that? Oh, it is a me. Look at that. Yep, that's that's the best palette for that one. A lot of these just look like some grit skull decay. Fantastic danger. <laughs> Fantastic. Finland. Damn. Getting global over here. 
Ooh. More danger? I, I it just keeps one one upping itself. Moving over here and taking another peek. Ooh. Almost looks like a wood grain or like uh if you put it on this, it, it kinda looks like sand dunes, but if you put it on the green, it kinda looks like wood grain. Same with on that. That's cool looking. Pixel flow three. Wonderful. Gotta love a virtual art museum. Alright, what's this? Hmm. Can I... It's a big statue of an A button. It's a big statue of a console of some kind. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. That, now that just looks like a UFO. <laughs> Changed my mind. I'm not saying they's aliens, but yeah, <laughs> they's aliens. <laughs> Called it out. Uh, once again, built-in lens. More US. Ooh. This reminds me of one of the scenes in uh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Fantastic little game. It's like a train bridge or something. Pedestrian bridge. Where are you? Yeah, location USA. Undetermined. Once again, like you can look at uh, the QR codes for all of these and find the artist too, who did them if you would like to research, take a look. All right, so that's like the little tree area. So we're, we're, we're gonna head south. We'll, we'll do all of this floor. I'll leave the rest up to you. Go download and try for yourself. Cool. I don't know if I like that one all that much. Maybe it's just the palette. I, I feel like it, it's it's it it doesn't look like it's standing. Like something that you, you really need in a photo. Like I'm not a photographer, so don't take my advice. But like something that I feel like you really need for a photo is you kind of need to have like some depth. And because there's the like the ground is so pale here, like it's not even in the photo. Um, it just kind of looks like an object floating in a white space, like. I kind of wish that we could see the ground a little bit here. Lake monster. Unless I'm completely, like, misreading what it is. Because to me, it just looks like a water tower. But it's called lake monster, so I, I don't know. Now, this one I like. Now, that, that I can get behind. That's That I can get behind. That looks awesome. Some 1984 stuff there. Surveillance. Big fan of that one. Pentax 110. Iowa. Shoutouts, dude. Morning Dog by Harry Fuck. <laughs> okay, Berlin, Germany. It's a doggo. I, I, I don't think you can pet it, but that is cool. More plants. This plant is just called Timothy. Hi, Timothy. Well, it's better that the plant is called Timothy than the plant is calling me Timothy. Cleveland. Where are you from? More Portland. Lots of Game Boy photographers in Portland. Ooh. See, like this has a lot more depth to it. You kind of got the fence in the front with like the temple in the background. Cool. All right. Ooh, is that a photo of the moon? Damn. I have no idea how you would even, like, go about taking that photo. That is cool. The EF mount? Artist is in Munich? Lots of Germany and, like, lots, lots of um, Western states. Photographers with the Game Boy. That also looks really cool. I, I think I, I think after like kind of going through this, I'm a big fan of the architecture based ones. Everything that's like architecture related is probably my favorites here. I'm not sure what that one is. Silicon Square. Oh, is that like a computer chip? Oh yeah, it's a CPU. Okay, okay. They're from Netherlands, and it's by uh, 2-Bit Wizard. 
Well, it checks out. Username checks out. One wheel ton. Okay, so. More USA, NC USA. Not sure what's going on in this one. The thing with like the Game Boy camera is it, because it's so low quality in the in the pixels. Like you have so few pixels to work with, you kind of have to make the most of them. And if there's not enough going on or too much going on, it's like a very fine balance between like it just kind of looking like nothing and looking like a beautiful image. Not super fond of that. I can't tell what they're holding, so that one's weird. It's more computer stuff. It's cool looking. It looks like a wall pattern. Every paint a picture. Like this one again, like you can kind of tell if there's people here, but there's actual like depth to it. Looking wonderful. Mount Rush. Oh, is that what that is? That's Mount Rushmore, really? No shit. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I can kind of see what I'm looking at now. Man. Makes a lot more sense reading the title of that one. Where are we at? All right, we kind of got one more room left. Let's go do this one. And we'll run back around to the front. Oh, never mind. This is the outside. All right, well. This is a giant head of a Game Boy camera that reads Dark by A.I.G. And we walk back around to the front. So that was a little... Oops. Our friend is gone. Mysterious. That was a little tour of kind of the basics of the Game Boy camera art museum. Well, the Game Boy Camera Gallery 2022. I really hope that we get a 2023 version of this for next year because this is neat. This is really cool. I, I love this shit. Like, give me more weird video game art stuff. Please go check this out and go uh, check out the artists involved and uh, download this game and leave it a comment on itch because this is just way too fucking cool. We live in the coolest era for video games, truly, and... Go try this stuff. This this is way too goddamn cool for me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're interested in seeing more stuff like this and weird games and first impressions and live streams of games that you either haven't heard of or should hear more about, uh, go check out my YouTube channel. There, there's a lot there. If you want to hear more of my voice or see my face, you can watch me live on twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. And if you would like to support the work I do and throw a couple pennies my way, you can do that over at patreon.com slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. If you want to listen to my podcast, if you like the sound of my voice, that's the Halcyon Frequency podcast at halcyonfrequency.com. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>